we initially thought that uh, by constantly monitoring people, they may form habits. And then if the habit is ingrained into their uh, behavior responses in, uh, every day, then we would expect they would remember automatically. When it's a cue. Whenever they enter an exit room, they will remember to wash hands. Um, but we actually did not find uh, there is strong evidence for uh, habit formation, at least not at the average level. We see that the compliance gradually increases, probably as people adjust to the monitoring system. Um, but then after two and a half years, we see a gradual decline. Um, it's still better than if they did not uh, start electronic monitoring, but then the benefits uh, gradually decline after two and a half years. 55 out of 71 hospital units uh, had a positive effect of electronic monitoring, which is uh, a large proportion, and 44 hospital units actually had a significant increase in terms of both economically significant and statistically speaking. It's a very meaningful uh, benefit from electronic monitoring. We do have a couple of hospital units that uh, did not see, show this benefit, and we can tell there is a huge variability across hospital units. That's why it's important for us to figure out what factors explain the effect size, uh, explain the extent to which you are benefit from the monitoring. And we see that um, Hospital units that began with high compliance prior to the activation of monitoring actually benefit more, significantly more, from the activation of electronic monitoring compared with other units that began with lower compliance. Monitoring is not going to be the only thing you want to try. You may want to simultaneously explore other interventions in order to sustain the long-term benefits.